All right, Shalom. This is the brothers from the GMS North Carolina. Came back with another video. Before we go any further, we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yeah, how will Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Rokar Kadash? Double honor to our apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching us the truth according to the Bible and rule well. And peace and blessing to the full elect of the nation of Israel. You know, today we're basically going to go into a topic on how two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, you rejected the Lord over 2,000 years ago. You despised when He came on the scene, and you're doing the same thing today, you know. You despised the men of the Lord, uh, the men that Yahweh Shema Shai set up on the highways and byways, starting with our apostles and elders, a great millstone, you know. You get, um, since I said, I guess St. Luke uh, 10 to 16, please, off the show. No, uh, me and the brother, um, Kazabak, Kazabak, we're um, in uh, transit right now, you know, Lord's uh, to bring you a Lord's will and edifying lesson, you know. All right, this is Luke chapter 10, verse 16, and it reads, He that heareth you, heareth me. Yeah, and this is written in red, so as Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, the people of England call it Jesus Christ, you know. So it said, he that hear of you, hear of me. So if you're hearing uh, us out there on the highways and byways preaching this word, you know, uh, rightly dividing the word of truth, bringing the scriptures out in its, uh, in its fullness, you know, then you're hearing the Lord Yahweh shot. Okay, bro? It says, and he that despises of you, despises of me. Yeah, and he that despises of us, he despises out there um, giving you correction, bringing out the scriptures, telling you that you can't... Uh, Continue your wickedness. You can't eat pork. That you can't eat shrimp, crab, lobster. You know all these abominable foods. That you can't uh, sleep the next man's woman. That it's uh, wicked to be a homosexual. That it's wicked to follow after um, these heathens and their customs, such as Christmas. You know Halloween. When we when you tell you these things, you despise us for that. You know because um, scriptures talk about um, they hate him that rebuketh in the gates and the correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way but it's not really us that you hate it's Lord Yahweh that you hate You're the only begotten son of the most high Go ahead. God says and he that despises of me despises of him that sent me yeah and who the, who sent Lord Yahweh Shai, um, the heavenly father you know your maker you know the, the Most High, Yahweh, sent His only begotten Son out to do His will, you know, to preach repentance to the, to the nation of Israel, starting with the elect returning to the Most High, you know. But the message went out to all of Israel, but what? They despised the Lord. They didn't want to hear the word. All the way to where they um they persecuted the Lord and tried to put Him to, they put him to death, you know. You get the other one. And this is uh, the book of John, chapter 1, verse 10. Mm -hmm. Say, he was made, it's like, it's like he was in the world, mm -hmm. and the world was made by him. Yep, go ahead. And the world knew him not. Yeah, here it is. You got the only begotten son of the Lord, the only begotten son of the Most High, Yahweh, and um, Lord Yahweh Shai, you know. He made the world, and the world knew him not, you know. Here it is. You got the second in command of all the universe right right there in your presence and you deny them you know you you turned them away all right mm -hmm. you know it's because you know our people two-thirds of people are not spiritual so they're only, they're only looking at his flesh you know yeah. scriptures say that he wasn't comely he wasn't uh which is you know like uh, yeah on an outer appearance he wasn't uh, uh dazzling and and uh all promising looking you know yeah. So they didn't believe that he was the son of the heavenly father, you know? Mm -hmm. Exactly. It, it says, verse 11, he came unto his own mm -hmm. and his own received him not. And that's what we're doing now, you know? A majority of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and confusion of faces uh, who are Israelites, two-thirds of you are rejecting the words of the Lord now, today, in, in today, age and time, you know? Here it is, uh, the Lord has sent us out here to preach repentance for the nation of Israel and to tell you that we got next to rule, that um, we got next, you know, the kingdom of heaven is at hand, you know, like I told you in the book of Matthews, but our people don't want to listen. Our people refuse to hearken to correction, but what, would they rather um, come up against the words of the Lord, you know? Our people want to hear smooth things. They want to hear lies, you know? Got it. Got anything on that one? No. Oh, no more than that. Okay. This is uh, John chapter 7, verse 7. 
the world cannot hate you. All right, and this is Yahweh Shai speaking. I'm reading against John chapter 9. I was like chapter 7, verse 7. Mm-hmm. And it reads, the world cannot hate you because it hateth me. Yeah, exactly. So we don't get all butthurt. We don't let the unbelief of you people and your vain opinions of what you want to do to us trouble us, you know? Like, your unbelief doesn't affect us, you know? And you coming up against us doesn't affect us because we know that you're really hating our big brother, um, Yahweh Shai, you know? And so we may not have power to get vengeance on you, but Lord Yahweh Shai, when he comes back with the band of holy angels, you know, and the Heavenly Father sends him back, if you're still, uh, if you haven't been judged already, you're certainly going to be judged, you know? The scriptures say, every eye shall see him, even those which, which pierced him, you know? So the Lord is going to uh, bring judgment upon two-thirds of you so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans that wanted to deny the Lord. And, it's still, and back when he came on the scene over 2,000 years ago, and it's still denying him today, you know? Okay. It says, because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. Yeah, exactly. The Lord is testify against you people, you know? That your works are evil, you know, and that for your wickedness, for your evil, what you're gonna get put to death, you know. But our people want to continue in their wickedness, you know. Right. You know, and it's hilarious because, like I said, the world hate of Yahweh Yahweh Shai, all right, and the Lord said he's gonna drink of the same cup, mm-hmm. you know. So now we are being hated, you know, because we're coming in the same stead as Yahweh Shai, you know. That's right. We come in the. If, if the scriptures talk about if we came in our own name, then shall we be received, you know? Kai. Well, we come in the name of by Shema Shai. That's why the world doesn't want to receive us, you know? Kai. What shows you, you know, that, that, for, that could be for another lesson, but what shows you the name of the Lord all right, is not Jesus, you know? All right? It's not Jesus Christ, man. All right? Because if it was Jesus Christ, everybody accepts Jesus Christ, man. You know, you come with Jesus Christ, everybody love you, man. But you come with Yahweh. But Hashem Yahweh Shai, hey, the the, Lord, the the world hates you, man. Yep. You know? Hey. I'm What's sorry, that? what did the leader of IUIC say? He said when he hears the names of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, he cringes, you know? He said that um the, the those who call on the name the true names of the Heavenly Father and only begotten son are wicked, you know? In terms make him him wicked. He's wicked, you know? That's right. Uh this is the book of John, chapter seventeen, verse fourteen. I have given them thy word. Yeah, I'm sorry. So the Lord has given us the word, you know, the truth, you know. Go ahead. And it reads, it says, and the world have hated them. Yeah, this world hates us because the Lord, Lord's only part of the elect, chose us and gave us the truth, you know. A lot of you people are just mad that you can't come into the fold, you know. That's right. A lot of you people are mad that, um, that we're against this world, you know. And this world teaches you about uh, a false love. It teaches you about uh, loving everybody, which really everyone really hates each other here, you know? That's right. It said, this is uh, John chapter 17, verse 14. I have given them thy word, and the world have hated them, mm-hmm. because they are not of the world. Yeah, so we're not of this world. You know, we're in this world, but we're not of this world, you know? That's right. The scripture's talking about use the world, but not abuse it, you know? These people hate that what we do is um, opposite to this world, you know? These people hate that we don't uh, love sodomites. These people hate that we don't love eating pork, you know? These people hate that we don't um, do the things they do, you know? And I could say they're mad because the vibration that we come with it's not a vibration of this world, you know? Yeah. It's a vibration from the heavens, man. It's a vibration from above, man. All right, which they can't understand or wrap their heads around, man. All right, so that's why it makes them mad, man. All right, you know? That they're, they're a lower in a lower vibration than we are, man. All right, and Lord's will be a part of the elect that we continue in, in the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema Shai and his energy, man. Yeah. It says, um, even as I am not of the world. Yeah, so what, if you have this truth, you're not of this world, you know? Because what, we, we are dead to this world, you know? Right. We're waiting for Lord Yahweh to come back and be a part of his world. That's right. Uh, this is a uh, book of John, chapter 15. Yeah, I'm sorry. What does the scripture say? The earth is given to the hands of the wicked, you know? 
scriptures say uh, the wicked is an abomination to the just and the just is an abomination to the wicked, you know? This is John chapter 15 verse 16. If the world hates you, mm -hmm. ye know that it hated me before it hated you. Yeah, so when we came into this troop and you might have uh, you might have stopped hanging out with your best friends, you know, you uh you um you told them about the truth. You might have uh, started getting hated by your family members, people started separating you from their companies, you know. Like it tells you in St. Luke the sixth chapter, you know. When people shall start to speak all manner of evil of you, you know, so do they to the, your fathers, to the um, to the true prophets, you know. So you read that from the top. From the top. All right. This is a uh, John chapter fifteen verse eighteen, and it reads: If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. Yeah, exactly. So what the Lord, this this world, this wicked world, which is uh ran under the spirit, um, ran under the spiritual demon Satan, you know, it, it, it hates the Lord, you know, everyone here is anti-Messiah, you know, everyone here is an antichrist that is going on the shores of America that doesn't believe in the true doctrine of Yahweh by Shema Shah, you know, that's right, so you really hate the Lord, you know, okay, this is uh, verse uh, 19, if ye were of the world, yeah, so we were uh, having barbecues every weekend with pork on the grill, you know, all types of shrimp, you know, all these abominable foods. If we were going to the club trying to sleep the next man's woman, you know, we was rolling um, weed up at the barbecue, you know, smoking cigarettes, sharing our cigarettes with our co-workers, you know. Go ahead. It says, if ye were of the world. Yeah, we were teaching a prosperity doctrine, um, teaching that the Lord loves everybody, you know. Go ahead. The world will love his own. Yeah, the world will love his own, you know? So the world loves his own, but the Lord has chosen us out of this world, you know? That's why the world hates us, which I believe the scripture about to say that song, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. You know, the spirit, you know, shows, you know, that we are doing the right thing, man. All right, why? Because the world hates us, yep. you know? The world don't hate Christians, man. You know, the world don't hate uh, Buddhists, all right? The world don't hate, um, um, uh, altogether hate Muslims. Hey, most of the world is in in is it um, a Muslim or in Islam? You know, yeah. You know, so it's the biggest religion. Exactly, man. So and just showing you that what we have is the truth, man. All right, and the two true doctrine from the heavens, man. All right. So I'm gonna read that again. It says, "This is John chapter 15, chapter. Uh, it's lucky. This is John chapter 15, verse 19. If ye were of the world, mm -hmm. the world would love his own. Yeah. So if we were teaching." Teaching our people lies, you know, coming up with our doctrine, our own vain heart, and the world would love that, you know? Alright. It says, but because ye are not of the world. Yeah, we're not of the world. Go ahead. But I have chosen you out of the world. Yeah, the Lord's will be part of the elect that got chosen out of the world. We know we are called out of the world, you know? But the Lord's will be part of the elect which is chosen, you know? Okay. Alright, it says But I have chosen you out of the world mm -hmm. Therefore the world hateth you Yeah, so the world hates us That we're on um, Like the brothers mentioned earlier through the spirit, We're on a different vibration, you know yeah. We're on a different um, energy level, you know That's These right. people are like Why is They catching hell on the job But we're, but we're keeping a cool head You know, they, they can't understand that, you know okay. But wait if they find out, they um, they might be cool with you at the job, but if they find out what you believe in and, and that you believe in the truth, they're gonna come up against you, you know. Okay. Right. As uh, verse twenty, as the last verse, it says, "Remember the word that I said unto you: mm -hmm. the servant is not greater than his lord." Yeah, and who's our lord? Lord Howard, shall you know? And we're his servants, you know. We're, we're coming. The Lord has sent us out here to do His will, you know. The servant is not greater than his Lord. So if they hate the Lord, they're most definitely going to hate us, you know, because we're, we're under the commandments of the king, you know. Well, Lord Yahweh has given us to do the same thing which he has done, you know. That's right. When he, um, it tells you in um, Matthew's the fourth chapter, how when the Lord began to preach, he, um, he told our people to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He told his disciples, when he, he sent his disciples out, he told his disciples to say the same thing, you know? Okay.
crying. In St. Matthew's the 10th chapter. It says, um, they will also persecute you. It's like, if they have persecuted me, mm-hmm. they will also perse- persecute you. Yeah. If they have kept my sayings, yeah. they will keep yours also. Exactly. So, you know, uh, they, um, they persecuted the Lord, you know, they brought them before the governors and princes and had them put to death, you know, some brothers are going to lose their life in this truth as well, you know. But look at what the Lord got. Look at the great uh, glory that Yahweh, Lord Yahweh Shai got, you know. Now he's sitting at the right hand of the Most High, you know. That's right. In his throne. What is that? St. Luke uh, 6. I want to say it's like in verse 22 where it says, um, Blessed are ye when men shall hate you and speak all manner of evil against you. I know it's um, St. Matthew's 10 and 5. I know that's one. Like St. Matthew's 10 and 6, I want to believe. It said, uh. St. Luke 6 and, uh. Somewhere around there. Not there's gonna be a lot where it says whoa, but it says blessed as well. Yeah, kinda, yeah. You got it? Um because um we're gonna we're it, we're supposed to be hated in this truth, you know? Like I mentioned earlier through the spirit, they hate him, they rebuke him in the gates, and they abhor him for speaking uprightly, you know? So we're speaking uprightly, we're bringing out the the, the truth according to the scriptures, and these people hate it. I got it right here. This is Luke chapter 6, verse 22. Yep, 22, yep. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you. Yeah, so the scriptures say, blessed are ye when men shall hate you, you know? The Lord was hated, you know? So it's a blessing for these wicked people that hate us, you know? Uh, Good. It says, and when they shall separate you from their company. Yeah, because they weren't doing nothing but um, trying to get you to go off anyway. Trying to promote you, um smoking weed with you trying to tempt you to see if you'll smoke weed you know right. that's a blessing for them to separate you from your company you know like his brother mentioned earlier it shows you that you're doing the right thing all right it says and shall I reproach you mm-hmm. and cast out your your name as evil yep and you see that today you know all oh, those guys that gm us they're you know gms they're the scum they're they're the bomb their barrel israelites you know they're casting out our names as evil, you know? Uh, you don't know how many uh, videos on the net there is about our um, elder apostle Tahar, you know? Our our leader, you know? Uh, it says, for the son of man's sake. Yeah, all for what we believe in. And, you know, and for the names of Yahweh by Shema and Shai. So that's, it's that's a right. blessing for that, you know? That's right. And the Lord's going to hate us. Like I said, you know, nobody hates people who come in... Uh, that spirit of Jesus Christ, man. Mm-hmm. All right, nobody hates them, but they hate us, man. All right, because we hold a standard and we actually stand for the scriptures. All right, the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Yep. Anything else? What is that? Nah, that was it. All right. You know, um, Lord's willing, uh, he brought us to edified, you know, the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Before we go any further, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Rekar Kadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone for teaching us the truth according to the Bible and rule well. And peace and blessing self elect of the nation of Israel. Next time we say, Shalom. Shalom.